Hey everybody, Marcel here at Tiger Auto, and I'm super excited to show you guys today what we're up to. Because if you're an overlanding fan, you're in for a treat. Introducing our overlanding bed rack series, which comes available for both full-size and mid-size version trucks. Now today, we're gonna to be showing you how to install this on a Ram 1500. Now what makes our rack different from all the other racks available on the market is our patent-pending V-bracing frame construction. Not only does this design make the rack system more robust, enabling you to hold more payload, including all of your overlanding gear and your tent, but also the V-shaped design has a distinct look that makes your truck look that much better both on and off-road. Lastly, I want to point out that there's no drilling involved in this construction of this rack. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you guys how we get this done. Before we begin, please make sure that all the parts in the hardware are accounted for and remove any tunnel covers and accessories that are installed near the top panel railings. First off, pick out the five different foam strips and apply them to these corresponding mounting tabs. Then, go ahead and connect the two front support arms with a crossbar without tightening the hardware. Adjust the width of the assembly until each side sits comfortably on the railings. Now do the same for the rear support arms. Moving on, connect each side rails with the front and rear support arms. Again, don't tighten up the hardware until we make the final adjustments. Next, take the remaining crossbar and install these two brackets underneath on both ends. Now you can attach it to the center slots on the side rails like this. Next, grab and install the V-plates on both sides of the assembly. Finally, finish off the frame by installing the mounting brackets to the bottom of each V-plate. Now let's go over how to secure the frame assembly onto the panel railings. First of all, this rack is designed for trucks with or without utility tracks and comes in different sets of hardware for the two scenarios. So, scenario one. If your truck has a utility rack that sits under the railing lip, slide these block nuts onto the tracks to line up with the mounting tabs like this. Otherwise, scenario two, if there's no utility track, or if your track sits lower and clears the mounting tab, you will use these clamping blocks instead between the railing lip and the mounting tab. Since this vehicle isn't installed with utility tracks, we'll go ahead and install the mounting blocks with the hardware, but at this time we won't tighten anything. These are available if you wish to drill into the railing and install the remaining hardware. This is completely optional for you and it does not affect the low capacity of the rack. Before you finish, make final adjustments to each connection and when you're happy, tighten all the bolts and then you're done. Okay. 